So did you uh, tune into you know the big the big fights this weekend? Which one? Well, there was the um, you know the Bryce Hall Austin oh, the room TikTok fight. or YouTuber TikTok, thing. Yeah, TikToker versus YouTuber one. <clears throat> yeah, thought about it, but um, my special edition Blu-ray Logan Paul versus Floyd Mayweather uh, came in. Oh. And so I watched that with the director's commentary, and oh my god, dude, so much better the second time. Was it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Can I borrow that? Uh, there's, it's like one of like five hundred, so I'm not sure. How did you get it? Did, was that did that come with the NF Logan? Paul yeah, it was NFT? with the Logan Paul NFT. Oh, so yeah, that's sick. Yeah, you can come over and watch it, but I just I can't. Would you mind? No, not at all. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? I mean, I, I can't wait because tonight I'm actually going to watch it for the third time. Okay. <laughs> I just, I'm really excited. It's like a daily thing. Yeah, just, point. you know, at this point, I've pretty much, I know like every line in the whole, <laughs> it's really a movie. It's really a movie. So. <laughs> every line in the whole thing. Yeah. So. <clears throat> but I'm sure the fights were good. Yeah. Yeah. No, they sucked. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the CMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny And if not, then enjoy this one. Holy fuck! Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer him? Get him by that car? Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Hey, stop uh, drinking into the mic, dude. Just ruined someone's Saturday. <laughs> Went after it. Ruined. Ruined. <laughs> Ruined, mate. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just get it out the way. What? We paid for the fight. Yes. Yeah, we unfortunately, paid. we did. Uh, but not, that's not to say, you know, I mean, I would never illegally stream anything. I don't think you would either. No, absolutely not. I mean, I wouldn't download a car. No. Wouldn't download a gun. Wouldn't download a gun by any by any means. So, no. yeah, no, I would never. No, I did try that. Uh, that's the pirated stream link though. Just wasn't really working. Just so. to make sure no one else was to, using exactly it. to yeah. make sure it wasn't working. I wanted to give it more traffic. Yeah. So that it would it would crash. Uh, yeah, it would crash. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Same. Mm -hmm. Same. I was yeah. like, everyone, come on, watch the pirated link. We have to crash it. Yeah. Everyone. I was sending it to everyone I knew. Yeah. 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 I was text. I was texting people. I'm like, open it on four computers. We just we have to crash the stream. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, which I think you know we we're doing a good job because it stopped working exactly every ten seconds. Exactly. So yeah. then me and all my friends we had to buy the fight, which was the intention. Yeah. Of that plan. That's the only point in time when I felt safe buying the fight, knowing that the stream was dying. Yeah. To go, yeah, it's okay. time to buy it's it. It's time to buy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And I bought it on a, like every single one of my devices yeah. separately. Same. Which is cool. <laughs> Shout out to Face Jarvis. Did his thing. <laughs> I'm happy for the guy going that from. Be, that should be a new meme. Yeah, shout out to Face Jarvis. Every, every time we got blank space in the podcast. Shut yeah, up, shout Jarvis. out to Face Jarvis, by the way. <laughs> I'm happy for the guy. He went from getting banned from Fortnite and crying on stream to knocking somebody the fuck out. Yeah, that was the best clip of the whole fucking He had the thing. coldest knockout the whole night. Yeah. Yeah, that kid's a killer. Wow. <clears throat> Did, go ahead. I was just going to ask, what, what's the deal with Ryan Johnston? Did that fight come before? Yeah, it was before. Okay. So, so that first was, of all, first of all. To this little, you know, mud mouth motherfucker who doesn't recognize my fight IQ analysis. That's not Ooh. even a real sentence, but just put that together. Who? Who are you talking about? Numb nuts. You know, I have a great reverence for Ryan Johnston. Okay. Someone had the gall to discredit my absolute fanaticism for Ryan Johnston. <laughs> he goes, I think Cody predicted this guy winning. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> I've been watching Ryan Johnston since he was 26 and a half. What is he now? Almost 27? <laughs> yeah. I've been watching him for about two months. 
Ever also, since two months ago, I've been watching Ryan Johnson, and I knew he was going to do work this weekend. Also, that comment is way off base in, in more, ways, more ways than just that. To, to think that you weren't the one that predicted something in the fighting. Fighting related. Related thing. And, and to think that I would ever predict anything correctly <laughs> is so beyond stupid. Yeah, I think that's what pissed me off. It's like you don't even listen to this podcast. You clearly don't listen to this podcast at all. Have you ever seen the blank stare in Cody's eyes when I talk about MMA? You fucking idiot. You can hear it. Yeah, see? Nothing. <laughs> yes, this weekend, great, absolutely great series of fights. I mean, <laughs> sorry, what's up? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, Ryan Johnston, he 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 took a W. Kale, I can, think. Can I see the clip of that one? I think he gassed out. I can't remember. Can we play a clip of that, or will we get donked? <laughs> donked. We get bonked on. <clears throat> um. Cheese. Yeah, we could watch it silent. Ooh. Oh. Oh, don't know. Oh, Not with the meme at it. I think it was just a hit him with a nasty overhand. Ow. Did yeah. he knock him out? I think he just, I think the ref just called it. It was like a TKO. Okay. Man, you know, we won't go into too much, but, you know, I, I've like talked in the past about like the it, you know, like the killer instinct mm -hmm. and just fighters recognizing that. Yeah. Out of all of them that night, Face Jarvis had it. Yeah. That kid, <laughs> dude, if you go back and watch his walkout from like the moment that smoke clears, like you just see it. Like <laughs> he's primal. <laughs> that's the that's the polar opposite of the look in my eyes when you talk about fighting. Yeah. 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 The polar opposite. Yeah, dude. I felt so bad for that kid, Michael Lee, because he was going out and um, you ever notice how when fighters go out to fight, they just look slightly sweaty? <coughs> Sorry. You all right? Slightly what? Sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. What? It, why is Listening that? Listening a little bit. Why is that? I was wondering that. It's because their coaches spray them down with water, give them a little kiss on the <laughs> yeah. cheek. Go out there, kill them. No, typically all shiny. Typically, they're warming up a little bit, like they're hitting pads lightly, like they're they're trying to get trying to get turned on. Yeah. Okay. Trying to get the fighter chub. Got it. So Michael Lee came out <laughs> dry as <laughs> <laughs> drier than like middle aged underwear, just. A middle-aged woman's underwear, just fucking clean. And he's walking, and you can see, like, he has no idea what he's doing. He's, like, trying to, like, get his brain to think, like, oh, I'm going to be in a fight now. And he starts pounding his fist to, like, get warmed up. And I just started shaking my head. I'm like, no one does that. And he's, like, he's like throwing, like, his hands to the camera. He's like, whoa, let's go. And Face Jarvis gets out there, like, borderline, twitching on the jaw, just, like, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill this kid. I'm gonna kill him. And that's what he did. He killed that dude. Jeez. <laughs> so hats off to FaZe Jarvis, man. That knockout was nasty. Yeah, shout out to FaZe Jarvis, by the way, guys. Yeah, just who, let me ask you this. Who is Michael Lee? Isn't he some TikToker? I have no idea. What does he do? Like, what is his normal shtick? Maybe he like dances or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe like 46 million followers or something crazy. What? It's just, I think I don't know. Who that was cares? the worst part of that whole oh, fight. Just them bringing every that up. Every time they bring a person on stage, he's got six million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Jesus Christ! I mean, there was so there was a lot of comedy. I have to give, I have to give it this. At least everyone who <clears throat> went in there tried. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like all of them tried to train to some degree. They they actually took it seriously in some capacity. Yeah, you know. So I think in that way. All the Logan money should have gone to them. Yeah, because they, they they gave a shit. Yeah, they tried to get hit. Yeah, and so um, it was, I mean, a lot of those fights they were so lopsided. Yeah, it was like all all of them was like very clearly one guy was better than oh, yeah. the other. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. It's funny because you know why I actually kind of like the celebrity boxing shit or whatever, like mm -hmm. this whole thing going on right now where it's like like there that wasn't the only fight that was aaron carter and fucking lamar odom lamar odom fought Ooh. for barstool whatever yeah earlier that day right it was the night before the night before it's like and it's going to keep happening yeah but i kind of like it because because it's like if you get knocked out like bryce hall did you're you're the laughing stock of the internet for <laughs> for a long for, i mean like it's going to be a while yeah <laughs> and so it's like you have to take it seriously you kind of have to because yeah. if you get knocked out it's humiliating yeah 
Yeah. Well, like, dude, all the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel for the guy, man. Yeah. Can we just play? Can we just play this one? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hey, here's the thing, man. I'm not. I don't want to get on like some kind of high horse, but I have to. I have to present this question, okay? Yeah. Do you think he'd be as humble if he won? What do you mean? You know how like afterward he's like, ah, I'm not a fighter, man. You know, it's all, and he's joking around. Do you think he would have had that attitude if he won? He'd be, he'd be like, I told you I'm a fucking fighter. <sighs> That's where I struggled to really have empathy for him. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I mean, you you acted like a dick leading up, and then now you want to like get a pat on the back for being like a nice guy? Fuck, yeah. Fuck that, man. What was that? Someone on the ship just sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I heard. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicate, communicating in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime, send a message to your counselor, bada bing, bada boom. You'll get timely and thoughtful messages. Uh, plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. Mm-hmm. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit betterhelp.com slash TMG. That's better H-E-L-P and join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Uh, this, this episode is obviously sponsored by BetterHelp and all our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash TMG. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> this is the funniest shit ever. I'm not a boxer. I'm not a fighter. I've never claimed to be a fighter. I'm going to knock out Austin because I'm an actual fighter <laughs> and I got two guns right here. I am a fighter. I have a wrestling background. <laughs> he said it twice in that same intro. He said it twice. Dude. It's so funny. I've I'm never surprised. claimed to be a fighter. I'm going to knock him out because I am a fighter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's the here's the Jar face Jarvis knockout. I see Michael Lee, what they have to tell these kids going in, tie your hair up or cut it. Yeah. Do you know how much worse a knockout looks when you have this like this mane? Look at this. When it bump, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a toupee got punched off his head. <laughs> the Bryce Hall one did. You oh, did. Bro. oh yeah, his toupee definitely came back. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Man, oh man. <laughs> I'm surprised no one has memed the clip of him in his interview before his fight. They're like, what do you think you're going to do tonight, Bryce? He's like, I'm definitely getting a KO. The way KOs are going today, I'm definitely getting one. <laughs> you got one, brother. <laughs> you definitely got one, man. <laughs> and here's the thing. I don't, you know, I don't buy this whole, you know, oh, at least they had the courage to get in the ring. You guys are getting like millions of dollars. Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah. there's no like courage to get in the ring for five. Actually, no, the courage well, is this. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is, is the, what I'm saying. This is the risk. You're yeah. right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I'm not, and I'm not saying like he didn't train. He he. All I'm saying is like I'm glad they took it seriously because. Yeah. And, and people will keep taking it seriously because of this. Yeah. It's like the more this becomes more popular, the more it gets memed, the more people watch. Yeah. And like you, you know, if you sign up for this shit, you. It's not like you got to go hard, you know? Uh, the other thing I, I just, you know, a Taylor Holder just needs to come clean about it. Which? You lost. They, I guess they overturned it. And they made it a win for yeah, Gibb? Yeah. I think so. I yeah. mean, I mean, the the funniest thing was like, I think on his, uh, his Instagram story, he was like, I don't agree with the decision, but you know, the nerves got to me. I'm like, just say it, bro. <laughs> just say it. You lost. <laughs> You didn't do anything. Yeah, there it is. Boys, we officially got the W. Yeah. Thanks for the support. Yeah, uh, as it should have been, man. It's kind of shitty that he didn't get to like celebrate that on stage, though. Yeah, so whack. Yeah. So whack, man. I like how you <clears throat> called it a stage. Or on what? Because that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is a stage. Yeah. That's true. That is a stage. That's true. That's... <laughs> Dude, it's so it's so funny because 
Okay, I think the greatest thing here is, er, like, what? What? Go ahead. Just thought of the funniest shit. Can you imagine if <laughs> the headline performance after the last fight was Jack Harlow. <laughs> <laughs> And they put Addison on stage <laughs> as she's dancing with Jack. No! And now your headlining talent, Jack Harlow. <laughs> oh, God. oh God. That that's like a that's a comedy film waiting to happen, dude. Oh my God. And he does like the you know the equivalent of Stacy's mom. Yeah. Jesus, man. Uh, it's up there. Addison grinding all <laughs> on before my new song. I, exactly. I took your bitch I never, twice. I never claimed to be a fighter either. <laughs> <laughs> but I am a lover, though. <laughs> I am a lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Addison's like, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Jesus Christ, man. I think there was something kind of you know a little bit poetic about that whole card though to see like a silver lining you're looking at me like what could this possibly be <laughs> what is it what, what poetic it? thing of no nah, man i think it was a it's like a great example of some shit takes time and you success is like determined almost like by attrition like gib has fought before he took a horrible loss and he had to live with that for a long time and he got in shape. Yeah, and he got and he got and he came to this, and you know Taylor's like, I'm training with Canelo, man. I'm this and that, and Gibbs looking at he's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you've never been in there. You yeah. don't know what it's like, and you don't know what I'm gonna fucking do to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and and what happened? Taylor got there. He had all that flashy training, all those YouTube videos. He he, he sparred with Canelo, and he froze up. And it's yeah. like, I I feel like I didn't get. I didn't. I didn't really feel that depressed afterwards. You know, mm. like the production was really fucking good. Really actually. good. Actually, thriller. Really take good. a note, man. <clears throat> and there was a lot of like funny shit that happened. Yeah. So I didn't feel, really feel like I got robbed. Yeah. No. If you're if you're talking about like the money you spent, that was a streaming ticket. Honestly, it was well worth it. I don't think they're gonna make their money back though. No. I don't, I don't think there's any way they did. No. Nah. I, I was watching a interview with uh, Austin McBroom beforehand, which I mean that's. <laughs> fucking dark place you know <laughs> watching an interview with like it's like what am i doing like what are you sitting with the lights off yeah <laughs> that's all <laughs> he was like he was like it was the bff's podcast and and uh dave porno was like so how many think how many pay-per-view buys do you think you're gonna get and he was like i'm thinking about 1.7 million it's like there's, there's just no way no fucking way. Wouldn't that wouldn't there, that be in like the top fifteen of pay per view buys ever? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Uh, yeah. That's what I mean. They think they're the like they think that they're like the most influential people ever. No. It's like no one real I don't know. Like No. No. It, like look at the your look at your YouTube analytics. Yeah. I guarantee you it's like fourteen year old girls that watch your videos. Yeah. They're not buying a fight pay per view. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you saw that stadium. That was shit empty. was empty. Yeah, I, I kind of chuckled it. Uh, I, I like I look. I was like looking at different like post fight stuff, and you know, everyone who lost threw out some number of how many people were there. It was different for everyone. Uh, it was crazy to perform in twenty in front of twenty thousand people <laughs> or fifteen thousand people, which I'm sure there was in there. I'm like, yeah, but that was like a one hundred k cap venue, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> DJ Khaled felt that shit. <laughs> oh my god, do we have that clip? He felt that. Do we have that clip? Yeah. Oh yeah. And <laughs> what does he start saying after that? <laughs> no matter what. He's like ad libbing the song. It man. It's just like... Oh, so he still had the song in his monitor, maybe. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he's just singing along, and he thinks it is so hype in there. That's, that's so sad. I feel bad for the guy. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. You see stuff like this, and you don't get, you're not getting robbed, you know? That's worth 50 bucks right That's there. definitely worth 50 bucks right there. <laughs> I was thinking, man... Uh, that was a probably pretty good show, like for fifty bucks. Like you got Migos, Khaled, yeah, yeah, uh, little baby, yeah, 
for 50 bucks? Yeah, actually, yeah. There's Little no, Baby's performance was actually good. Yeah, and there's no difficulty getting to the front. <laughs> yeah. It's all teenagers. You just push them to the side. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I know your parents. I'm going to tell them that you're here if you don't move to the side. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Front row, man. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean. I, Amigos it, have really been on a tear. Every boxing event, bro. They got it. It's crazy. I bet, dude, I bet they get a sick paycheck for that. Probably. <laughs> Fat. Are you, and we have to do one song. Yeah, just one song. What do you think it is? 200K, probably? For each? No, for the whole group, for one song. It's probably, one song. It's probably like six million each. <laughs> probably costs more than the whole fight, honestly. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, whatever it is, it's it's good. It's easy money for them. Wow. So I'm happy for them. You know, yeah. I'm happy for the performers. Yeah. I'm happy everyone got paid. You know, social gloves. You deserve getting kicked in the nuts financially for that robbery you pulled off. Also, brutal name, social gloves. Yeah. Change it. Change the name. Yeah. Because that's a bad name. I think they would have needed almost like 340,000 pay per view buys just to cover, like, probably what they spent on talent and production. Like, just to break even. That would be my assumption. They probably got that. You think? I think so. All right. I mean, who knows? We should just say they didn't. Yeah, we no, should just but, make it up. Yeah, yeah. I can't I believe Social that. Gloves made zero dollars. They just went bankrupt. Everyone there was was paid to be there. Yeah, they were free <laughs> tickets given away. So, and then the, the pay per view was entirely cracked. Yeah, that's why we were working with our friends to buy more tickets because we were yeah. trying to support you know it's smaller creators. Event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's on us. I feel like <laughs> smaller to help smaller creators. We needed to help Austin McBroom. Yeah, get some more. Yeah, get some more private jet flights. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps.com. Are you still going to the post office? Still paying full price for post postage? Well, thanks to Stamps.com, you don't have to anymore. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Bada bing, bada boom. It's as easy as that. <laughs> Send letters, <laughs> ship packages, and pay less, a lot less, with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours. <laughs> <laughs> thousands of hours and tons of money every year. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. It is a must-have for any business, whether you're a small office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop shipping out orders, uh, or just navigating this hybrid work life. Stamps.com can handle all this with ease. You simply use your computer to print any official U.S. postage 24-7, any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere uh, that you want to send. Once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or drop-off. It's just that simple. Bada-bing, bada-boom. <laughs> With Stamps.com, you get discounts up to 40% off post office rates and up to 66% off UPS rates. Not to mention, Stamps.com is a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. Bada-bing. It's no wonder nearly 1 million small businesses already use Stamps.com. It's great. We've used it before, and it was really easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so stop wasting your time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and with our promo code TMG, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage, digital scale, no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, type in TMG. That's stamps.com, promo code TMG, stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. again. You know, <laughs> speaking of which, there was a TikTok that I saw of Carrot Top. Have you seen that one? No, it's like, He's hey man, it's Karen Top, <laughs> come see me at the Luxor this Friday. And it just looks like shit, right? And some girl replies and goes, Jesus Christ, does this guy have like a GoFundMe or something or like a Venmo I can contribute to? <laughs> yeah, it's at Luxor.com. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Slash Carrot Top. And you uh, can, Kyle, can you try and find that? Oh. Hey, what's up, guys? Kurt, uh, <laughs> it's like got eyeshadow on, and his face just looks like paper. You know, it's like you know, you have so much filler. It's just like, but your the wrinkles are still like fighting to come through. Yeah, he looks like a paper mache project. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that dude. I remember distinctly the moment where he got ripped. Remember yeah. that was like a oh, big yeah. deal. Yeah, <laughs> he's a skinny, and he looked all dude. roided out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He honestly had. He had the look of TikTokers now. He was like way ahead of his time. 
pre steroids. What do you mean? <laughs> With the hair? Like, yes, yeah, like skinny, crazy ass <laughs> look. Like, if he was born now and he just had to dance and shit, he would have a hundred million followers. It's actually true. Like his face and like his presentation, man. Yeah, he'd have you been. You think a- about the shit that like <clears throat> goes crazy on TikTok now, like the fucking Willy Wonka dude. Which one? You know, you never seen that guy, Willy Wonka. Um, he dresses up like Willy Wonka, but it's like creepy. But for some reason, he got a ton of followers doing that. <laughs> That's so weird. It's weird. It's weird. Nah, it's like, I seen and there's that. other dudes that do that stuff, that dress <laughs> up, and it's not like hot costumes. Like they're not like traditionally like sexy. You know, it's not like a Johnny Depp yeah. type look. It's just like a weird, and it works. It's a dude with a ring light. Yeah, okay. exactly. That. Can you? Can you, have you tried to? Did you find that TikTok? Oh my god! <laughs> All right, it's carrot top. Duh. Come see me at the yeah. Luxor store every night. Jesus Christ, does he have a GoFundMe or fucking Venmo or something? Wait, replay the start again. All right, it's Carrot Top, duh. Come see me at the Luxor every night. Jesus every Christ, does night. he have a GoFundMe or fucking Venmo or something? Why is he in like a parking lot? Oh. That's like. <laughs> so. That's All how, right, it's Care Top. Come see me at the Luxor every night. That's how over it he is, dude. Yeah. Someone at the Luxor, like, social media team thought i we need promo for carrot top and he's says i'm going to the liquor store in about an hour and if you're there i will stop and i'll read one line to your iphone then i'm going back in my car and i'm gonna go get wasted in my car so i have the mental energy to go do this show that i do every, every night fucking night <laughs> seven days a week do you know what that's like seven days a week Getting up on that stage and using props. I mean, it was pretty fun for us. It was really fun, actually. I feel like we got to go see Carrot Top. I want to see what this show is. Yeah, we should, just to get some inspiration for what props we should use. Yeah. We should be a prop podcast, a prop cast. Yeah. We should just fully become hacks. Yeah. Just impressions only, props, no personal anecdotes. Just basically SNL. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. There are some talented people at SNL. Yeah. And now performing Dominic Fike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know if he's been on S- SNL. I mean, probably. Has he has. performed on SNL? That's he's a great artist, by the way. <laughs> nice, dude. <sighs> hey, what's up? It's Carrot Top. Hey, what's up? It's- All right, it's Carrot Top. Duh. Come see me at the Luxor. Why is your mustache night, brown? <laughs> Where did that video live? Was that on Luxor's social media? Who knows? Like, who that's follows, what I'm saying. Who the fuck follows Luxor on Instagram. It, lo- it looks like a cameo or something. <laughs> the, Luxor right, bought, Top. the Luxor bought a cameo from Caretop because they couldn't get a hold of him because he was in his car getting drunk. <laughs> Hi, 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 Carrot. We need some promo for tonight. Uh. All right, it's Carrot Top. Uh, just need the Luxor every night. How much, how much are Carrot Top tickets? <laughs> he should be at the next Social Gloves event. Luxor. <laughs> yeah. I have to say I'm like delirious today. The wackiest redheaded comedian since Lucy. That's an awful tag. <laughs> Everyone that knows Lucy is like almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's who's buying these tickets, I guess. <laughs> Since Lucy? For performances now through July 2nd, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Damn, he wasn't playing. He's doing this every night. Every night, except for Sundays. What's the ticket? Because the ticket? it's the Lord's Day, of course. Yeah. And I mean, this is like this theater is giant. <clears throat> it's a theater. Oh yeah. Oh whoa. Damn. Let's see what tickets are like at the front. <laughs> front row. Front row to care top. <laughs> Select pricing option. Dang. Forty to seventy-five dollars. That's not bad. Seventy-five bucks for a Vegas show? Yeah, That's I guess. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Should we go see him? I kind of going there this weekend. I might go see him. Or maybe I'll tag along. We'll just go watch <laughs> Carrot Top for the. 
do it for the pod. <laughs> Just on our Instagram story. We made it. Yo. <laughs> All right, it's TMG. Duh. We're the Luxor <laughs> right now to see Carrot Top. You can see him every night. <laughs> every night. <laughs> I want to see a Carrot Top show, man. Because I want to know, is it is it labored? Is he really into it? Is he wasted up there and he doesn't care? No, he's probably a good performer. I think he has. No one lasts that long doing headline shows every night without being somewhat good at what you do. Yeah. Yeah, that's <clears> true. <throat> you would think. You would think. I, I just I just gotta know. Yeah. <clears throat> you think we could get a residence <laughs> in Vegas? Yeah. Yeah? For sure. <laughs> we could be the new Sigmund and Freud or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Us doing magic with cats. <laughs> you mean <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Yes. Isn't that Sigmund and Freud? Sigmund and Freud? Bro, Freud is a like philosopher or psychologist. What, what, I don't what, even know what, what am the I fuck I'm of? saying. Sig <laughs> what is it? Siegfried and Royd? Roy. 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 He can't. He doesn't. <laughs> Royds? Siegfried and Royds? It's just two dudes on trend <laughs> taking care of tigers. And doing magic. <laughs> doing magic. Siegfried and Royds. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I'm Sig. You're Freed. Siegfried, yeah, Siegfried and Roy, Siegfried and Roy, whatever. <laughs> Siegfried and Roy's. And one of them like got bit by the tiger, right? Yeah, he died or something. I mean, he got injured. That's us, dude. That is fucking us. <laughs> <laughs> no, go back to the other picture. That's us, dude. One hundred percent, dude. <laughs> and that's Spock. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dead. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Well, oh, good thing we got clones of them downstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm delirious. Same. Like I'm, I'm really sitting here having like an outer body experience, thinking about <laughs> what have I even said for the last thirty minutes. <laughs> I feel like I'm high or some shit. Like, damn. Shout out Faze Jarvis. So. Yeah, shout out Faze Jarvis, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, my lungs are. Up. <laughs> we shouldn't have smoked all that weed before we fucking rolled. Seriously. <laughs> I think if we were high today, it almost would have been better. Yeah. We just would have fallen asleep <laughs> before we did the bonus. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh. Hello, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Hello, Hello Fresh. Fresh. What is Hello Fresh? With Hello Fresh, you get fresh. Pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning and grocery store trips so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes. <laughs> Try HelloFresh's quick and easy meals, 15 to 20 minute dinners, breakfast on the go, and more. Easy options, perfect for your busy lifestyle. Enjoy a wide variety of easy, delicious options for all three meals a day, plus every snack and special treat in between within the HelloFresh market. HelloFresh's fresh ingredients are sourced directly from growers and delivered from the farm to your front door in under a week. Contact free, of course. You know what? Actually, we made HelloFresh last night, and we were cooking it up, and mm -hmm. we made uh, these rice. It was like a sweet potato mushroom rice bowl that had sour cream in the sauce but and hoisin sauce. Wow. It was like an Asian dish. It was so good. Wow. It was crazy. I'm blown away by that. Yeah, no, it's, it was really, really, really <laughs> good. Well, if you're interested in that, go to HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat12 and use TinyMeat12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash TinyMeat12 and code TinyMeat12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So what is this? Joe Rogan is literally five foot three. Um, Someone wrote that in the sky over WeHo. Yeah, because it, it started, I guess, with a wedding proposal. That's what that's what Luke told us. So someone proposed. 
That looks like it says toe. Standing on my roof <laughs> and it said, will you marry me, Molly Pratt? Said she said, yes, I love you more than anything. Um, can't wait to spend my life with you till death do us part whole thing. And then it said, oh my goodness. And it said, got one more thing to say. <laughs> Joe Ro what? Joe Rogan. <laughs> Joe Rogan is literally. <laughs> Spelled. <laughs> it's literally five foot three. <laughs> what the fuck? That's kind of funny. I guess that's kind of funny. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Is he five foot three? What if he was? I mean, that's pretty what if, short. What if he is? He looks taller than that. That's what the fuck what is wrong with that? Nothing. Well, I mean, nothing. I mean, I'm. Oh, ha ha ha. He's literally king. five foot. <clears throat> He's five foot seven. He's five foot seven. So shut the fuck up. Ain't <laughs> <clears throat> eh, wrong. Joe is five foot seven. Actually, Joe is five foot seven. So that's not even funny. Yeah, it's not even all. funny because it's not because even true. It's not true. It's a lie. Yeah, literally so wrong. Yeah. What a loser. Wasted all that money to write that in the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fucking idiots, dude. I don't even know the host of the greatest podcast on the fucking on earth. face of the earth, dude. Yeah, on earth. God, it pisses annoying. me off, dude. So and you know what's annoying. crazy? He could literally beat everyone's ass. I know. That's what's crazy. It's like, like all these people that talk shit about him, Joe could literally fuck you up, dude. <laughs> Upsetting, bro. <laughs> Can we get dramatic lighting? It just pisses me off, you know? Yeah. Like, not only is he, like, dedicated to, like, expanding his own mind uh -huh. through, like, hallucinogen, like, you know. Everything, dude. Exactly. Sauna. Like, saunas, exactly. Hallucinogenic, mushroom, like, whatever. Mushroom, He's so open to experience. What was that? What? What was that one that you said? What? What was that one? What? Did you say eugenics? <laughs> I said hallucinogenics. Hallucinogenics, dude. yes, Exactly. Exactly. What's eugenics? <laughs> Is that a supplement? Joe's really into it. You should check it out. It's a supplement, yeah. I think it's a supplement company. Eugenics. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead. Nothing. I just like, he's so cool. Like, people don't get it, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, dude. It's like, who else do you know that can fight? Mm-hmm. The stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. And also can literally kick your fucking ass. Right. Like, you don't even... It, these don't even matter at that point. But it's, there are so many other things, though. Yeah, there are for sure. Like, the list goes on. Yeah. Move to Austin. That is sick. That is sick. Who else do you know that can do that? Um, Go hunting. Yeah, kill a deer. Yeah, be friends with Alex Jones. Like, people talk about, like, literally killing the game. Joe literally does that. Like, people say, oh, I'm killing the game. They don't, actually. But Joe kills the game because, like, he kills deer. Yeah. He kills the game. Like, he literally kills game. Yeah, and then he eats it. Yeah, so. Which is sick. And he fights. And he can kick your ass. So sick. So, yeah, I don't appreciate anyone, first of all, incorrectly making fun of his height. Secondly, taking any kind of digs at a dude who could literally kick your fucking ass. Yeah. He's not literally 5'3". He's literally 5'7". Five, five, seven. Seven. Yeah. So. Okay. Candace, we can go back. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting out of character right now. <laughs> it's getting a little peeved off. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Don't ever, don't ever insult my boy, Joe. Don't ever insult my See, boy, this is the problem, too. Once you get into that, once you get into that character it's like you can't escape it <laughs> like i can't even think right now because somebody fucking disrespected joe <laughs> that'll be the crutch every time we're a little bit off the game today we go just sorry i'm just fucking still distracted by the fact that someone said joe is literally five three when he's not he's literally five seven <clears throat> it's like have you even watched a single fucking episode of his fucking show <laughs> did you not watch fear factor I'm sorry, I grew up on that shit. He like literally has like doctors and like astrophysicists and like so many different kinds of people on his podcast. Yeah. He can like conversate with all of them. Conversate? 
Love that, dude. Conversate. Yeah, all these people that are like absolute morons. It's the best fake word. Conversate? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Bro, <clears throat> I almost got stabbed last night. What? It was, it was a dream. I just had to I just had to do that. What? I just had to do that. Okay. I woke up this morning, I'm like, I'm this is a bit. I woke up from the dream, I'm like, this is a bit. I'm gonna tell Cody I'm just gonna stab. <laughs> and I knew you were gonna freak out. <laughs> yeah, because that's I mean it's a pretty intense thing to say. <laughs> you gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> hey dude, I almost got stabbed last night. Ah got it. Dream, dude. You had me going, man. When you said that, I was like, what? In my head, I was like, what? You were what kind of situation would he be? And then you, it's a dream. And I, <laughs> I'm joking. My brain was totally going. I'm like, you're, oh, 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 fuck. My boy's seriously in peril? Yeah. And I, what? <laughs> what? My dog almost got stabbed last night? <laughs> almost in peril? <laughs> my boy is seriously in peril? <laughs> Bro, hold up. Are you telling me last night you were in grave danger? <laughs> You were joking. You Dang. motherfucker, dude. You effort, dude. <laughs> you mother effort, <laughs> man. Effort, fool. Yes. I thought you almost literally got stabbed. I mean, in my dream, I did. No, I actually had a dream where I had a kid last night. And you stabbed your kid? I, and I stabbed him. <laughs> After that Jody episode, you <laughs> just... Which? Jody Arias, the three-hole wonder. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, if you missed the bonus last time, I oh, feel yeah. bad for you. Yeah, honestly. you got it. That was a that. rich bonus episode. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Tiny Beat Gang, by the way, if you want to get in on that. Dude, <clears throat> this dream I had last night, I almost want to write and shoot as a scene because it was so crazy. I, I'm i in a bathroom at a Wawa. Okay. Already bad. Yeah. <clears throat> wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. I go in. And I'm walking up to the bathroom. I hear the screaming. It's like, come on, man. Come on. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I go inside and there's a dude reaching over the top of a stall, giving another guy a wedgie, like as tall as the stall. Like he's a, it's a tall ass dude. And he's just ripping this dude's underwear out of his ass. And the dude's screaming like for a dear life. Like, come on, man, let it go. <laughs> let it go. And I turn around. I'm like, fuck, I don't I need to pee though. <laughs> So I go in, I'm like, I'm not a bitch. And I go in and I go pee. And the stall I'm into, there's no toilet. It's just the like the pipe where the toilet would be. So it's just like a hole. Okay. I'm like, I'm not going to complain. I'm just piss. I'm going to piss right into the drain. I can do it. So I start peeing in the hole. And as I'm peeing in the hole, there's a someone from the stall next to me is pissing on my shoe. Okay. Like being funny. Uh -huh. I'm like, God damn. So I walk out of the stall and there's a dude waiting there with like an Assassin's Creed knife. It's like wrapped around his wrist and it's like sticking like out from underneath his hand and he grabs me. He's like, hold on, bro. I'm like, what? How was he peeing? Huh? No, he wasn't the peeing one. He wasn't the peeing one. He was just waiting outside the stall. <laughs> okay. And then, so then the dude who peed on my shoe, he walks out of the stall and he's like a shot collar. He like zips up his pants and he like looks at me and he like looks at the guy and he's like, do it. And then he's like, him? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, what did I do? It's fine. It's yeah, fine. Like, These shoes I'm weren't scared. that expensive anyways. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and so they start like talking to each other and they get distracted. And I use that as my opportunity to fucking bolt. I run. And then they come out of the stall and it's three of them. And <laughs> I forget who I'm standing outside the bathroom with. They're like these two people that are supposed to be my friends or some shit. And it was like some video game thing where they came out and they're like, did you see that motherfucker? And I just looked away and they just kind of, you know, just left me alone like some NPC behavior. Okay. And I woke up thinking, dude, did I just get my shoe peed on and almost stabbed? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That's a wild dream. I know. It's just like. I normally hate when people tell me their dreams. I know. Because they don't, it doesn't mean, you know, it's just like you could have just made that up. Yeah, and exactly. I'd just be sitting here, being like, "What? what? Really? Oh, what? whoa, that's so crazy!" Yeah, and then like, and then like, I did a backflip, <laughs> and then Carrot Top was there. <laughs> you no, know, you know my dream's real because I didn't do anything cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone yeah, yeah, you got humiliated me. Yeah. They peed on my shoe, and then they tried to kill me, and I screamed, "I'm scared!" Internally. Let's take a quick break to thank another. Uh, sponsor of this episode, and that's Me Undies. Summer is coming in hot, literally. <laughs> 
<laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> but with me undies, you can come in something hot. <laughs> <laughs> Your own sock. Socks so comfortable you can fuck them. Nut in them. Get your socks pregnant this summer. You're going to be at home all alone, you stupid tiny dick gamer. <laughs> but with me undies, breathable and soft as heck fabrics, you can soak up the sun and feel cool for the summer. And it's perfect for your cock. <laughs> with a mix of classic colors and adventurous prints perfect for the summer, express yourself in your own unique way. Because Me Undies believes that comfort is about more than what's touching your skin. It's about feeling comfortable in your skin. Designed to be the softest thing you've ever worn, Me Undies are energized by creativity and made for self expression. Available in sizes from XS to 4XL, Me Undies has countless styles and prints to choose from. So, so your buns can have more fun. I'm wearing them right now. Actually, they're really soft, and uh, they're my daily. It's just my underwear now. I only ever wear me undies. Mm-hmm. I'm wearing my three socks right now. <laughs> Me Undies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. Me Undies also has their problem free philosophy. Oh. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. Bada bing, bada <laughs> boom. Get your 15% off your first order and free shipping. Go to meundies.com slash TMG. That's meundies.com slash TMG. You know what? This actually reminds me of a time when I was in Chicago. Did I ever tell you this story? <laughs> you got your shoe pissed on and someone stabbed I mean, you? It was basically that, but a little bit less intense, <laughs> all right. right? It reminded me of it when you said uh, you forgot who you came with and you left to see if the people there were like, yeah. to tell someone that you came with, yeah. right? So I was in, uh, we, were, we were in Chicago for like St. Patty's Day or something like that. And we, were, we went out to a club after we had spent like the whole day like partying and drinking and everything. Like, so we're at the club and I go to the bathroom. Wait, you were at the club? So we we're at the club. Right, so we go to the club. Was it bottoms up? And we're in the club, so we'd already been at the club for a little bit. Sorry, was it was it bottoms up? Bottoms up, yeah. When you, um, when I first met you, what? What song is that? Could you get enough? What the fuck song is this? Is it enough? Did it fit? Oh, good. Did tune. you go straight to your bedroom? Good tune. <laughs> sorry, good tune. I'm sorry, it took me a second to get that. We was at the club. Bottles up, but that's what it was. This episode is going to be a fever dream. (laughs) This episode is going to be a fever dream. I feel like Carrot Top. (laughs) I feel like he must have felt in that video right now, dude. That's how I feel right now. All right, so all right, so you're in the club. Okay, so in the club, bottoms up. When I first met you, okay, and I couldn't get enough. (laughs) So I'm there, and uh, I'm with Matt King, right? All right. And shut up, Matt. I love you, but I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tell this story, okay? I gotta tell this story. I mean, it's more on me than it. it I'll, I'll just tell the story. So I'm in the bathroom. I don't know what happened, but this dude's at the urinal, and he either chirps me or I chirp him for some reason. I think I'm pretty drunk, so like I, I must have like I, I wouldn't, but I would never do that. I would never get into a fight yeah. without like a reason to, because like I'm not like a confrontational dude. Yeah. I'm a pussy in real life, <laughs> you know. You saw how the whole Jake Paul thing went down. I'm a pussy. So no, what no one knows is that under the barber mock, you had a gun. (laughs) That's the story that no one knows about. That's the truth about that situation. Because when you went to Jeff's, I I sat Cody down. I said, "Hey man, I just have a weird feeling. Some shit. You need to take this." (laughs) And Cody's like, "I don't shoot guns." I'm like, "You might today." (laughs) Yeah. So that's why Cody was all nervous because as Jake was sitting there talking, Cody's like, "Don't get too close, man." (laughs) I haven't really used this before, and I don't want to let it off while I'm sitting down. I shoot my balls off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you, you, the guy is at the urinal, and he's angry. He's angry. We get into it somehow. And so I'm like being a smart ass to this guy, thinking that nothing's going to happen. I've never been in a fight before. <laughs> nice. I've never been in 40 street fights before. Yeah. I've never even been in one. But it was right? time to start. So, but I, I just like, I just get, I, I think I was like just being too smart to this dude. Okay. Like just like pushing his buttons. Sure. Just being a dumbass, not thinking anything's going to happen. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like I was just like fucking in, in my, in that zone. Right. So the, the dude just has enough with whatever I'm saying. And he goes, he picks me up by the throat and slams me against the bathroom stall. It's like, oh, oh, and I'm like, oh, like feet off the ground, like wiggling. Like a <laughs> cartoon to touch, character. To touch the thing. Dude's like this, right? Matt King is in the bathroom with me, and he goes, 
holy shit, and he just runs out of the bathroom and goes to Sam and goes, Cody's getting his ass kicked. And then I, like two minutes later, I stumble out of the bathroom. The guy lets me down and says like, gives me a warning and goes like, lets me leave. And so I stumble out of the bathroom like, like scarred. I'm like, Matt, what the fuck? You just left me there, dude. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know, what was I supposed to do? And I was like, help me out, maybe? It's two on one, we could have taken him. Uh, I could tell you, I would have looked at that, and I would have said, oh man. I would have tried <laughs> to sock that dude clean in the chin. I would have tried to sucker punch the shit out of him. Oh man. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God we're getting dental it. work tonight, let's go. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe it. It reminds me of a time where I was, I was leaving the comedy store with the guy who like got me into comedy and this homeboy and we're driving down the street and it's like that part of hollywood is just annoying and this dude is walking down the street and he takes a smoothie <laughs> and he just chucks it at my windshield it goes all over the front <laughs> <laughs> why i don't know I, like i so kind of saw him about to do it and i looked at him and he had this smirk on his face and in my head i'm like don't do it man and he did it <laughs> and a comedy like oh gee he starts laughing he's like what you want to do dog i'm like fuck it <laughs> we just kept driving and then they started laughing and they were like i'm glad you said that dude because i'm not in the mood <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like i'm too tired for that shit <laughs> oh man i just drove home with smoothie and i just i just took it on the that chin sucks. just l just that fucking sucks. i think that's worse turn the, than <laughs> turn the windshield wipers on <laughs> nah I, a cop is like Stuck on the fucking thing. <laughs> I, I think I did the water first. Like a, <laughs> <laughs> Windows are open, sprays it on your face a little bit. God damn it, dude. I think I was <clears throat> like, I mean, one, the dude was a big dude. Like, I wasn't going to do shit to him. But two, I was also laughing. Like, even if he was small, smoothie on a windshield is just funny to me. I don't yeah. know why. So I kind of like was, you know, I was willing to take it. <laughs> it is it was just funny. funny. <laughs> It's pretty he just, random. He just looked at me and was like, <laughs> "Why would you do that to a random person?" <laughs> we're we're in traffic too, so it's just the perfect. That's like, <sighs> you know what? It's probably because it was just I had a champagne Honda Civic. Yeah. You probably saw that color and was just like angry. He was like, "Look at this fucking stupid ass car!" <laughs> I know who's driving this is a bitch. What is he gonna do? It's like. It's like when you drive, it's when you, like when you drive by somebody and you scream an insult, and they can't do anything about it. You know that's like the most unfair shit ever. <laughs> Screaming out of your window, "Nice glasses, idiot!" And they're like, eh. and they just gotta go about their day. I think passive aggressive is almost better. Hey, nice glasses. <laughs> Was he serious? Was it? Are they nice? What's wrong with my glasses? <laughs> I just got these. <clears throat> what the fuck? FaceTiming people. Is there, is there something wrong with my glasses? No. Are you lying to me? No. Are you sure? Why? Did someone say something to you? No. I got to go by. <laughs> so, someone did that shit. Uh, I was in Santa Monica and this lady is like yelling at me and Alina while we're walking to Ollie. And I've just never experienced someone trying to have a conversation with me through a mask in a car. Okay. I was just like, no, no. What? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like, I like gesture. I'm like, what? It's okay. <laughs> I said, I can't hear you, lady. I've never referred to someone as lady. <laughs> so I can't hear you, lady. And I just kept walking. I'm like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> This that's what it's like when you go to stores right now, like in California, where they got the plexiglass up and it's and like three mask. layers of plexiglass and they're masked up, <laughs> and they have the, they have the face, face shield too, shield. and they're like, "Would you like another present?" And you're like, "What's up? Would you like another present with it?" I'm sorry, I can't. Would you like another present? And you got to jam your head under the little yeah the little thing. You got to put your ear in the cash and slot. Pull their mask down. They're like, <laughs> Do you want more espresso? <laughs> <laughs> Spit on your face, jam it in your nostrils. <laughs> you like get your oh, face up. The like, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. And then they get like the COVID Q-tip and ram it up your nose, and then pull their mask down. 
<laughs> Would you like more espresso? Um, um. Is that clear enough? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Shout out Fish Jarvis, though. Shout out Fish Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I just have I okay, I I have one more speculation about that event. Do you think some of those trainers knew that those kids were gonna lose? So they just like were trying to get a quick little quick bag? Yeah, probably. All right. I just I just That's the thing is they seemed pretty into it into it. Like yeah. I don't know. I just feel like you know that that it's it was kind of like a surreal shot watching them come out like all dressed up in their yeah. robes or whatever. And there's like a camp of like five fully grown dudes behind them, like yeah. into it. I was like, how do you, like I'm self-conscious about like, like getting people to be into like what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like, yeah. How, how do you honestly go out there and train <clears throat> for a boxing match for the first time as a social media star and like not feel self-conscious about the fact that these guys have been like doing this their whole life and they don't, like, how do they not? How do they not think that these guys don't see them as a fucking joke? I think the ones that were into it, it was like Faze Jarvis, <clears throat> Vinny Hacker, Gib, Austin. It's like, it's probably like in the gym, they see the kid and like, oh, this kid's got hands, and like to them, they're like he's gonna win. Because I think when you train at gyms, there's a certain sense of pride, like they're gonna <laughs> turn out winners. Um, I, I like and certain gyms have a culture of like if you're gonna train here you gotta you gotta be to like a certain level yeah so it's I think like at to have like kept training whoever that was to that point I think that's why they can get into it because they're like they have faith in him they feel like they've invested a piece of him into it you get what I'm saying yeah yeah but I'm I'm more saying like how do these kids not have imposter syndrome like at all like oh. they don't have that at all <clears throat> sorry Jesus fuck I they're think, just like I think the ones who the, lost like did. I've had that my whole, anything I do, I have that, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's hard yeah. for me to like, I, I just feel like all these people, I don't know. They just like, I, it's, I'm impressed by it. I honestly am. Like, I know. I, like I, they have I, yeah. the, that little self-awareness where it's just like, I'm going to be a boxer now. <laughs> and people are just going to like understand and, and help me out. <laughs> yeah. No, I, no, I completely agree with what you're saying. I think, yeah, there's, it was split. I think for like Jarvis and the kids that were like going to go in there and do murder, it was just like, and yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not yeah. even, it's yeah. not even that they're a boxer and it's for a TikTok event. It's like they, <laughs> free stage, they took a little bit of blood and they put it under their nose. Like, smell that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, here he goes. <laughs> we got this in the bag, boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to win. Yeah. He's definitely going to win. Yeah. But I think, yeah, for the other, I think it's hilarious to like, even, you know, all the shortcuts I feel like they're taking, you know, because to train at some of these gyms and to have some of these opportunities there's like boxers that train every day that don't get to do that shit yeah and to like just do that and then be like i maybe that contributes to it you know it's like yeah. oh i'm getting all these opportunities i must be good yeah but that's what i'm saying like how do you not that that just goes to not having any self-awareness i guess yeah it's like you can't be good you yeah. can't be good at anything in six <laughs> months you can't be it's just not possible i mean i i agree i agree but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I kind of, I thought about that after the fact. Like, I wondered if some of them would walk away from it and, like, now reflect on their experience leading up and start to question the people around them and think, damn, was that guy just, you yes know. Yes manning me. Yeah, yes manning me. Yeah. And, like, every time I was hitting the pads, was he just, like, lying to my face? Yeah. And, like, he set me up to, like, lose in there, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> I think something that, you know, it it was a it's a really human moment was when Taylor Holder sat down and his coach was like really trying to give it to him. Yeah. He's like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, you're not doing anything we train. Yeah. Like you're letting him dictate the fight. You're not gonna win if you just stand there. Like he's saying pretty brutal stuff. And you could tell like Taylor's just like, I can't, <laughs> I can't start. Like that's a sobering feeling. It really is when you like, and thinking about all the shit you said, like, yeah. this guy's delusional. He wanted to fight Canelo. Yeah. It's like, when Taylor said that, I thought, how do you not realize that the dude on the other side is going to be a problem for you? That's the same as, like, believing in God thing. Yeah. You got a dude on the other side on a Zoom call who's like, 
I can beat Canelo. <laughs> yeah. You should be fucking horrified <laughs> that a dude says that without blinking in his gamer chair. And you have to fight him in a month? You should be worried how he's going to be in the fucking ring. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, it's a... Uh, I agree with you. I, I I am impressed as well by some of these kids that where they just do this shit and they just no nerves, no nothing. Yeah. It I think it also sets like a brutal example for people because when they watch that, <clears throat> they think that's how they have to be. Yeah. It's like, no, dude. <laughs> you should be shitting your pants. Yeah. For something like that. Yeah, exactly. Even fifteen thousand people in an empty ass arena, just walking into that arena, how do you not get nerves? Mm-hmm. You're like, I have to Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's a great, it's a great, it must have been sobering though for them, like, especially for Bryce Hall. Yeah. Where he's like, I'm a fighter, I'm a fighter, I'm a real fighter. And then to get his bell rung like that. I mean, and then I thought it was just so crazy to like say, I've been in 40 street fights. I know. (laughs) I'm like, dude, there are professionals who don't have that many fights like on their tab. That's like a crazy ass number. How do you even get in that many street fights? Like, there aren't that many street fights. For an average person, yeah. 40? I think Have you seen 40 people get in fights in your life? Okay, at the risk of sounding like an asshole, I think I can genuinely say I've seen close to it. Close to 40? Close to 40. Like yeah. in high school or what? Yeah, through high school and like maybe parts of college. But that's not a street fight. High school fights are not street fights, right? I guess I consider... I mean... I guess they are. I guess they, they are. I guess that, that's, that's what it would have to be for Bryce Hall. Uh, Bryce Hall, he's 21, right? <laughs> yeah, wait, can I? <laughs> I don't know if I told this story before, but just on the subject of high school fights, this is one of the funniest fights I've seen in my entire life. What? <laughs> this kid, oh man, I don't know if I've told this before, but God damn it, it was so funny. We got this kid, this kid transferred to our school and he was like, you know, he had like twisted spikes. He had like a crazy ass look. Everyone's like, yo, that dude. Seems like kind of nuts. He got into this other kid who had the presentation of kind of like a nerd. (laughs) Okay. And they're about, they get into it and they're about to fight. And the kid, the transfer kid with the twisted up hair, like pushes him. He's like, what are you going to do, pussy? And the other kid, still with his backpack on, falls into his friends. And his friends are like, fucking get him, dude. And they push him back and he uppercuts him like (laughs) clean. Bust his nose. The, The kid with the twisty braids is now like bleeding from his face. And he's like, no more. It was like a one hitter quitter, <laughs> and the kid. I think I think he had a few follow ups, and they broke it up. And it's like he fucked that kid up with a backpack on, <laughs> which is the funniest visual because the other kid was like maybe like five three. <laughs> not to mention your balance is so thrown so off, so off, dude. Oh, yeah, that's what <laughs> 19 I'm nineteen textbooks in your backpack, dog. That's not what I'm even. You're right. I'm not even incorporating that much. It wasn't like a slim backpack. He had like <laughs> like the full accordion. Like he was one There's of these weight fighting against yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Like your punch shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> like it was the same sensation of him like being hooked up to a vest and like dragging a fire <laughs> yeah, truck. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> and for his friends to be like, "Get him, dude!" I bet that push gave him like a ton of momentum, and yeah. he just went. Oop. But here, here's what I'm saying, though. Okay, so you've seen you've seen close to 40 fights, probably. I, I think a realistic be, number is probably 20. 20. Yeah. Imagine being in every yeah. single yeah. one of those. <laughs> and then double that amount. Yeah. Like, it's impossible. You'd be so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so fucked up. 40. And, like... Especially in a street <laughs> fight, dude, because, like, if you're fighting on, like, pavement and other things... You would have like scars and some kind of like. Oh yeah. <laughs> you'd have like a tooth that's like, yeah, it's never <laughs> growing back because some guy ran my head into a tree, and I have nerve trauma in this eyebrow. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. So <laughs> that was in my thirty-six fight, fight, I believe. <clears throat> Forty street fights. That number is hilarious. <laughs> so that's why I tweeted. I'm like, I want to get booked for a thriller fight so I can lie. <laughs> yeah. The whole time. Yeah. I fought a thousand people. <laughs> I fought five people at once and I killed two of them. <laughs> Last guy I beat, I went to his funeral and I gave the fucking I, I, eulogy. I, I, gave the, I gave the eulogy at the last guy. And then I beat funeral. the shit out of everyone in the front row, <laughs> including his mom. <laughs> Fuck with me, pussy. Yeah, 40 is a s- super insane number. That's like, that's like. Imagine, okay, that's like a month and a half of Carrot Top's career right now. Yeah. He performs, every, that's like every being night. in a street fight every day for yeah. a month and a half. 
I mean, dog, if you've been in 40 fights, you would think you're at least decent. <laughs> <laughs> like, you didn't cover up. <laughs> you had nothing. Yeah. There was no fight yeah. IQ in there. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, man. I've been in one street fight. Who? When I got my... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That counts, dude. <clears throat> yeah. I lost that fight. I lost that fight. I didn't I, do shit. Yeah, I took... I did not do shit. I think I'm right there with you. I took a... I didn't, I, it wasn't a fight, but I definitely took an L. I, 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 had, I told the story before I got t- too many edibles. Mm-hmm. And I like, was talking to this dude about moving his car because he was blocking my friend's <laughs> car. I was like, oh, this is your car. This is some crazy white kid. He was like, what the fuck are you saying, dude? <laughs> That's how high I was. Is I was, made no sense, and it was like offensive to him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? All he heard was like, me saying like my boy can you move your shitty car yeah that's what i was saying <laughs> yeah can you move your bunk ass dumb ass car because like my boy has to move his car and like your car fucking sucks <laughs> <laughs> I, the only line i remember i'm like high as hell and he just goes tell your boy if he wants to come down he can come down <laughs> and i was like oh so what he must have fucked i must have confused the fuck out of you as a high person I was that high with like, come, yeah, come with, calm down, calm down, calm down. I don't, where am, am I? Am I coming down? <laughs> I'm coming down right now. I'd grab him, dude. Help me. <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> down, man. <laughs> I'm scared. My heart's beating really fast. Get the fuck off me, fool! <laughs> so I'm really high. Yo, this kid's weird as fuck. <laughs> you're gonna leave me here? I'm like really high. Dude, you're gonna leave him there? That's fucked up. <laughs> He was getting in my face. I'm really high. I'm really high. <laughs> Let's beat this kid's ass. So, no. Dude, we can't beat his ass, Kyle. He's like f- completely fucked up. <laughs> my chest. Oh. Oh. Can you die from weed, dude? Can you die from dude, weed? Dude, I think he's ODing. Oh. <laughs> I'm dying from weed. Bro, give him mouth to mouth. <laughs> I don't want to fucking do that. That's gay. <laughs> He's going to die, dude. Do it quick. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. Got you, pussy. <laughs> Knocked out. <laughs> Roll him on his back, choke him out. <laughs> hey, you fucking thought I was high, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you going to your, move your you gonna move your shitty ass, dumb ass, bunk ass car now, bro? <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, my boy is my fist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't believe Sigmund's dead, dude. Sigmund's fucking Siegfried. I can't believe Freud's dead, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyways, guys, shout out Face Jarvis. We'll see you in the bonus. <laughs> see you in the bonus. Bye.